Welcome back to Alternative Notions. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey deep beneath the world-famous Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon holds more than its breathtaking surface beauty. Beneath its iconic landscapes lies an enigmatic underground realm, concealing ancient mysteries waiting to be unveiled. Before we embark on our underground adventure, it's essential to pause for a moment and truly grasp the magnificence of the Grand Canyon. This awe-inspiring natural wonder, with its vast valleys and millions of years of intricate rock layers, has not only garnered global recognition but is a sheer testament to the incredible forces of nature that have shaped it over millennia. Hidden beneath the breathtaking expanse of the Grand Canyon, there lies a concealed network of caves, a realm largely untouched by the prying eyes of the public. These subterranean wonders have held their secrets close for ages, and it's only in recent times, thanks to a pioneering study conducted by researchers at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV, that these enigmatic caves have begun to reveal their mysteries. Their journey took them deep into the hidden caves of the Grand Canyon. These caves are home to an extraordinary feature, stalagmites, in this incredible exploration, we'll delve into the fascinating findings of this groundbreaking UNLV study, which is unraveling the secrets of the Grand Canyon's hidden underworld and its potential impact on our understanding of climate change. Led by paleoclimatologist Matthew Lachnid, a team of dedicated scientists set out to explore these hidden caverns. Their mission? To investigate the historical climate patterns in the Grand Canyon region particularly during the transition from the last ice age to a rapidly warming period known as the early Holocene. They wanted to unearth the profound mysteries of the Grand Canyon's ancient climate, in hopes of gaining insights that can guide our understanding of future climatic changes. What's truly remarkable is what the researchers discovered. Their findings, published in the esteemed journal Nature Geoscience, painted a vivid picture of the past. Between 8,500 and 14,000 years ago, during the early Holocene, this period of warming had a profound effect on the region's climate. The Grand Canyon region experienced a significant increase in water seeping into its cave systems, mainly due to intensified and expanded summer rainfall. This directly challenges what we know about the Grand Canyon's groundwater recharge. In the contemporary Grand Canyon region, most groundwater recharge is attributed to winter snowmelt. However, this study's findings have uncovered something astonishing. Surprisingly, during the early Holocene, summer rainfall was equally crucial. It was a time when both summer and winter rainfall played significant roles in replenishing groundwater reservoirs. This phenomenon is not typically associated with groundwater recharge today. Groundwater recharge refers to the process by which water from various sources, such as precipitation, surface water, and even irrigation, infiltrates the ground and replenishes underground aquifers. Aquifers are geological formations that can store significant amounts of water. Groundwater recharge is a natural mechanism that plays a crucial role in maintaining the overall water balance of an area. This process is vital for sustaining freshwater supplies, especially in regions where groundwater is a primary source of drinking water and irrigation. Groundwater recharge is a critical concept because it sheds light on how water resources have historically been replenished in the region and how they might respond to future climate changes. When considering the Grand Canyon, it was previously thought, based on existing knowledge, that the region was headed towards drier conditions due to ongoing human-induced climate change. However, the research findings now suggest a potential twist. Here's where it gets even more intriguing. Their model suggests that if temperatures were to exceed the levels witnessed during the early Holocene, it could potentially set in motion a series of meteorological changes. One of the most significant consequences might be the intensification of summer rainfall in the high-elevation Colorado Plateau, an expansive area that encompasses the awe-inspiring Grand Canyon. This transformation in precipitation patterns could mark a remarkable shift in the regional climate, prompting a surge in both the frequency and intensity of summer storms, particularly June and through September. As the plateau receives an increased deluge of rain from June to mid-September, the implications of such a change would ripple through the entire ecosystem, impacting the delicate balance of nature in this unique geological wonderland. But how do they know all of this from stalagmites? Well, it's all about chemistry. Stalagmites are mineral deposits that accumulate over thousands of years as water seeps through the ground above cave formations. Stalagmites act as historical climate records, similar to tree rings. 
The uranium-234 isotope and growth thickness of stalagmites serve as indicators of changes in the amount of precipitation. Variations in oxygen isotope composition between summer and winter precipitation enable scientists to estimate the relative contributions of each season. Let's break that down a bit more. Basically, oxygen isotopes are different forms of oxygen, and they can help scientists understand the source of water in different seasons. When we talk about the oxygen isotope composition in rainwater, we're essentially looking at the unique signatures of these different oxygen forms in water molecules. By comparing these signatures between summer and winter rain, we can figure out how much of the rain comes from each of these seasons. In an era of ongoing global warming and climate change, these findings provide crucial insights into how the region's groundwater systems might respond. It's a fascinating look into the intricate relationship between climate change and water resources. The findings provide a historical context for the region's climate, which can help researchers and policymakers make more informed decisions about water resource management in the face of ongoing global warming. The research has implications for the future of the region. If the Grand Canyon area experiences increased temperatures due to climate change, the role of summer moisture in groundwater recharge may become more significant. This, in turn, could impact water availability and ecosystems in the area and hold significant potential for various applications. Water Resource Management If extreme climate warming leads to dwindling water resources in the region, understanding the historical groundwater recharge patterns can help authorities make informed decisions about water allocation and conservation. This information can guide the development of sustainable water management strategies. It can inspire innovative water management strategies, such as capturing and storing summer rainwater to bolster groundwater reserves. For example, in India, farmers are adapting to warmer temperatures by using more groundwater for irrigation. It's a response to climate change. As temperatures rise, Indian farmers are extracting more groundwater to keep their crops alive. But this poses a problem. If this trend continues, it could lead to a tripled rate of groundwater loss by 2080. As we can see, the way we manage groundwater matters, and it's a critical part of the climate change puzzle. This also underscores how beneficial this study could be for the Grand Canyon and surrounding areas impacted by increased temperature warming due to climate change. Drought Mitigation As extreme warming may exacerbate drought conditions, knowledge of how groundwater recharge mechanisms have responded to temperature increases in the past can assist in drought mitigation. Strategies such as artificial groundwater recharge or more efficient water storage and distribution systems could be developed based on this historical data. The knowledge that summer rainfall can significantly contribute to groundwater recharge becomes a ray of hope. It could help communities survive through the increasingly dry seasons. Ecosystem Preservation The Grand Canyon is home to unique ecosystems that are highly sensitive to changes in water availability. Knowing how groundwater recharge patterns may shift under extreme climate warming can help conservationists plan for the preservation of critical habitats and the protection of vulnerable species. Wildfires Resilience Climate change is often associated with an increased risk of wildfires. In such a world, understanding the complex relationship between changing rainfall patterns and groundwater recharge is essential. The ability to predict and manage water resources effectively could mean the difference between forest ecosystems recovering after fires or facing irreversible damage. At the time of making this video, October 16, 2023, there are 94 active regions near the Colorado Plateau. So as things warm up, it'll be nice to have this information as an additional resource for planning. Emergency response, in times of extreme climate events, such as prolonged heat waves or intense storms, this information can be crucial for emergency response planning. Understanding how groundwater reservoirs respond to increased summer rainfall and temperature changes can guide authorities in managing water resources to ensure a consistent supply during times of crisis. Tourism and Recreation The Grand Canyon is a popular tourist destination, and the information gathered from this study can aid in the sustainable management of tourism. As climate change impacts the region, Strategies to balance visitor access with ecosystem protection can be developed based on anticipated changes in water availability. Infrastructure planning, knowledge about changing groundwater recharge patterns can inform infrastructure planning. For example, 
the construction and maintenance of water supply systems, pipelines, and reservoirs may need to be adapted to accommodate the evolving water availability conditions. Research and Monitoring Ongoing research and monitoring of the region's hydrology and climate will be essential to respond to extreme climate warming effectively. The historical data provided by this study can serve as a baseline for long-term monitoring efforts to track and understand the impacts of ongoing climate change on the Grand Canyon's hydrology. Uncertainties. While the research provides valuable insights into potential changes in groundwater recharge patterns, uncertainties exist regarding the impact of decreased winter precipitation and snowpack on overall groundwater reserves. Here are three of many uncertainties. First, predicting the long-term climate trends and their implications for the region is challenging. While the study focuses on the early Holocene period, projecting future climate trends and their effects on groundwater is inherently uncertain. Second, variability in future precipitation patterns is uncertain. It's unclear how the frequency and intensity of winter and summer precipitation might change with global warming. Lastly, the rate at which reduced snowpack melts in a warming climate remains uncertain. This melting process significantly contributes to groundwater recharge, and the timing of snowmelt can affect aquifer replenishment. In simpler terms, these uncertainties mean that there are several things we don't know for sure about how changes in winter snowfall and precipitation will impact the availability of groundwater in the Grand Canyon region. The study provides valuable insights, but it doesn't provide all the answers. More areas of research will be needed to fully understand how these snow and rain patterns could impact groundwater in the future. The Grand Canyon, already a natural wonder, just got even more intriguing with its hidden caves full of stalagmites. These revelations about past climate patterns may hold the keys to understanding the future of climate change while helping us make more effective decisions regarding water use, allocation, and conservation. As the world evolves, so does our understanding of its natural wonders. Thank you for joining us on this adventure today. If you enjoyed this journey, give us a like.